The plug-in hybrid version of the Nuclear Sportage is now available to order. With the largest battery of any Sportage, the PHEV offers the longest electric range, up to 43 miles, is achievable on electric power between recharges. That compares quite well with other plug-in hybrid SUVs, although it's the most expensive Sportage. Prices start from £38,395, First deliveries are set for April. The 43-mile electric range is undoubtedly impressive for a SUV of this size, but it's tempered by the price. A Sportage GT line starts from less than £30,000 with a petrol engine, but add an electric motor and a 13.8 kWh battery, and you need to pay around £8,500 more. Prices rise to £43,795 for the GT Line SPHEV, at which point road tax will cost nearly £500 a year. The styling of the new Kia Sportage has been inspired by the electric EV6 with large C shaped daytime running lights, stacked headlights, and distinctive fog lights. Elsewhere, Kia's bold Tiger nose front grille spans the entire width of the nose, making it the boldest version seen on a Kia to date. Above this, a pair of air intakes sits in front of an angular bonnet. The subside profile is slightly sportier than before, thanks in part to a sharper roofline, a crease line in the front and rear doors, and sharply flared rear wheel arches, giving it a more muscular look than the old car. The UK version of the Sportage also gets a redesigned C-pillar, losing the small rear window of the longer international version. At the back, a new angular hatch design features slim LED lights with a gloss black trim insert across the rear hatch and a redesigned bumper unique to the UK model. The new car is 30mm longer than the old model with a 10mm longer wheelbase that should not only help improve passenger space but also provide extra room for batteries in the hybrid models. Inside, the new Sportage features two 12.3-inch displays, one central touchscreen for the infotainment, and another information display ahead of the driver, much like the setup in the EV6. There's also a wireless smartphone charging pad on the center console below. A new steering wheel design Sporting Kia's new logo is also fitted, along with a pair of physical rotary dials. Uniquely, the rotary dials can be set to operate either the infotainment setup or the ventilation controls, which is adjusted via the touch-sensitive panel. Below this, the center console houses the automatic gear selector, along with switch gear, for the car's hill descent control, 360-degree camera view, heated seats, and steering wheel controls. According to Kia, the latest Sportage will boast 591 litres of boot space, which expands to 1,780 litres, with the rear seats folded flat. The PHEV gets a still generous 540 litres of space. The plug-in hybrid powertrain, available in the new Sportage, consists of a 1.6-litre petrol engine, electric motor, and a 13.8 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery. Total power output is 261 brake horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, with Kia claiming an electric driving range of 43 miles in mixed conditions, or 48 miles if you stick to urban areas. According to Kia, the Sportage PHEV can also return up to 252 miles per gallon fuel economy with CO2 emissions of just 25 gram per kilometer. Zero to 62 miles per hour takes 7.9 seconds, while fully recharging the 13.8 kilowatt hours battery from a home wall box will take just under two hours. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.